इंटरेस्टिंगली है ना नाउ वी हैव पाई टॉर्च वर्जन ऑफ द फेमस ग्रॉक वन मॉडल फ्रॉम एलॉन मस्क यू कैन ऑल्सो रन दिस पाई टॉर्च वर्जन ऑफ ग्रॉक वन लोकली बट यू वुड नीड अ रियल मेटी सिस्टम एंड आई विल shortly show you the specifications for it and also i will share the instructions as how you can get it running locally but before that let me give you an introduction as what exactly is meant by this pytorch version of grok1 the company behind this pytorch version of grok1 is this hpc dash ai tech which are quite known for their colossal ai software platform okay now if you don't know what grok1 is grok1 is quite famous due to elon musk of course and because he made the source code of that grok1 open it is still a base model not a fine tuned one and quite huge too because it has got 314 billion parameters and it's a mixture of eight expert model also two experts are used per token and that is its expert utilization and there are in total 64 layers in this model there are 48 attention heads for queries and 8 for key value pairs its embedding size is over 6000 and intense piece tokenizer is used with it with 131072 tokens it also uses a rope embedding or rotary embedding and it supports activation sharding and 8 bit quantization context is around 8k i have explained all of these terms in great detail in my other video which i'll drop the link in video's description now coming back to this model so what hpc ai tech did here they translated the original modeling written in jax into pytorch version and converted the weights by mapping tensor files with parameter keys he quantizing the tensors with corresponding packed scales and save to checkpoint files with torch apis i know that is a mouthful so let's try to break it down in simple words first let's see what exactly is meant jax and what is this pytorch thing original grok1 is in jax format jax is an open source numerical computation library developed by google it is designed for high performance machine learning research and scientific computing jax offers a powerful and flexible platform for automatic differentiation enabling researchers to easily compute gradients for optimization it also supports just in time compilation to gpu and tpu for efficient execution jax api is inspired by numpy making it familiar and accessible to those with experience in scientific computing so that is what jax is whereas pytorch is an open source machine learning library developed by facebook it provides a flexible and intuitive framework for building and training neural networks with strong support for dynamic computational graphs pytorch is known for its ease of use efficiency and seamless integration with the python it also offers comprehensive tooling and libraries for deep learning research and development which includes automatic differentiation and it is very very widely used and that is why i believe that this pytorch version is quite significant in my humble opinion okay now this uh, hugging face repo contains the weights and models of the torch version of grok one open weights model and let me now show you how you can get it locally installed and i will be sharing a script from the rep which you can replicate as is uh, on your local machine and i will also drop the link to the sugging face page from there you can read further and get the code too now let's check it out let me go to my vs code let me open it so this is my vs code the first thing you need to do you need to import the torch let me make it so let's import the torch and then import the transformers library and make sure that you have already installed pip install transformers i already have it 
and I'm not going to install it because in order to run it, you would need uh, a system with eight GPUs and every GPU should have 80 GB of VRAM. If you don't have it, it won't run, it won't get installed. So make sure that you have that MIDI system. Unfortunately, I don't, so I cannot run it, but at least I can share the instructions. But if uh, you want to sponsor um, me to install and run it and show you, feel free to reach out, get in touch. I'll happily run it, provide me the machine and I'll do it for you. Okay, so first importing the libraries, then just setting the torch parameter and then simply downloading this Grok1 model. Setting the device map to auto, it will automatically upload to GPUs and then sentence piece processor is being used for tokenizer model. And this is the prompt. And I'm even asking it in the prompt that where do I get for free a machine with 8 GPUs having 80 GB VRAM each. And then simply pass on the attention uh, input, generate the output from the model and print it. That's it. So it's that easy in order to get it running. So you can already sense the main uh, handicap here is to get access to the this very expensive system even in the cloud if you are running it it is going to cost you uh, thousands of dollars just for this inference we cannot run it no problem but we can at least uh, make an educated guess about the process of converting the jacks to pytorch now converting a machine learning model from one framework to another just like jax to pytorch is not a simple process this involves rewriting the code that define the machine learning model of course because both jax and pytorch have different syntaxes and apis so this step is about adapting the model's architecture to be compatible with pytorch i don't know i mean if there is a performance compromise uh, i really don't know i can only I tell you once I tested it with my own hands, but I think there should be some performance hit. Now, machine learning models learn by adjusting weights through training, as we know. These weights are saved as tensors, or in other words, multi dimensional arrays. So, here, the uh, saved weights from the JAX model are mapped to the corresponding parts of the PyTorch model using parameter keys. Parameter keys are unique identifiers for model parameters and parameter means weights and biases, ensuring that each weight from the jacks is correctly placed in the PyTorch model. And then quantization has been done a bit to reduce the precision of tensors, for example, from floating point to integer. And this decreases the model size and speeds up inference, but there is a performance hit, of course. And then uh, the weights are saved um, and in PyTorch, there's a checkpoint file which is created and a checkpoint file is saved state of the model including its architecture and weights allowing it to be loaded and used for inference for further training. So it is possible and they have already done it. I'm not sure about the performance of it. I also know for a fact that various people have tried it out. They have uh, <clears throat> um, we took the base model of Grok1, converted it into uh, like PyTorch version. Some have even gone in and they have created some hugging face version. Some have used even Lama.cpp and people have been using uh, 10 or 20 A40 uh, GPU cards to run it on run pod. And everyone is reporting that the performance of these sort of modified Grok1. So I'm not sure really. That even if you go through that trouble of converting and running it, it would be the same experience as a real Grok. So I really, really hope that either um, this XAI or any other company creates a quantized version of the actual Grok one, which will be available to mere models like us, so that at least we could get a testing of the model. Anyway. Um, that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it and if you uh, like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching